Today, we hear Jesus teaching his disciples about how they should approach material possessions and the basic necessities of life. Our Lord certainly appreciates the worry and concern that can dominate our hearts and consume our attention and energies. We worry about the future. We worry about our jobs and our finances, as well as a number of other uh, trials and tribulations, especially with regard to our health and our safety. While being concerned about these basic human matters is important, we know the ways that they can be overpowering and distract us from our life and relationship with our Lord and Savior. When Jesus cautions his disciples not to be concerned about earthly treasures that have no lasting value, he is encouraging us to value and cherish that which is centered on God. Yes, we all have things that we treasure and guard, but we must be able also to see the presence of God in our daily lives. We need to trust that God will take care of us and take care of us in our needs. If we need an example of this, we have no farther to go than St. Paul's words in today's first reading. We hear Paul doing something he doesn't like to do. He's boasting, and he, he knows it's a bit foolish. He even says it, this is insane in a way. We hear him recounting the suffering, sufferings and persecutions he has experienced in his travels and missionary efforts. Despite the ills he has faced, Paul dares to boast of these difficulties. His opponents had boasted of their labors and hardships, and so against the, his inclinations, Paul lists the trials he has faced, but ends with the statement, If I must boast, I will boast of the things that show my weakness. This will lead Paul back to one of his favorite themes, the foolishness of the cross of Jesus Christ. The cross of Christ, which could be seen by some as a, a moment of weakness, actually reveals the power of God, and the power of God not only for Jesus, but also for all his disciples. St. Paul chose a life of danger and difficulty in his ministry to proclaim the gospel. His anxiety, if you will, his worry, was for the churches he had founded and for his fellow Christians as they faced the various challenges of their faith and life together. Our worries, our concerns, we, we don't experience them all by ourselves, and, and Paul knew that. And Paul knew how those could distract from one's living of the faith. We also see that Paul's store on earth might have been one of hunger and cold, trial and tribulation, but his store in heaven was great. As God's Word helps us today, then, to see where our treasures lie and where we want our hearts to be, we turn in prayer to God, who calls us to wholeness and renews our lives with His goodness and grace. We ask that He will continue to draw us to know and cherish the value of His life and teachings in our lives, and so seek for treasures that we can store in heaven. God's blessing, peace, and strength be with you all.